If Monet Painted a Monster Written by Amy Newbold Pictures by Greg Newbold If you painted a monster, it might have three glowing eyes or sharp pointy teeth. Your monster might hide under the bed or have big furry feet. Artists paint monsters in many ways. Edward Hopper's monster lurks in the shadows, watching diners eat a late night snack. In the gathering gloom, James Whistler's monster waits in her creaking chair. She is watching, watching, watching as the fog rolls in. Flames cast spooky shadows on the wall as Dorothy Tanning's monster takes a midnight stroll. Spidery giants tiptoe through Paul Cezanne's countryside. M.C. Escher's creatures creep up and down, around and around. Rattle, rattle, shriek! John michel Basquiat's monster howls at sunset. Giuseppe Archimboldo's monster is ready for a costume party festooned in his vegetable disguise. How many specters does Rene Magritte's Invisible Man reveal? Henry Rousseau's creatures hunt slithering snakes in the jungle. With bold slashing strokes, Franz Klein's monster leaves his mark. Would you play with Frida Kahlo's little monster? She brought you a mask. Skittering, screeching, twisting, and tumbling, Robert Thompson's monsters circle and stomp through the forest. What is clacking up the hill towards Thomas Hart Benson's ramshackle house? Flicking their wrists and kicking their heels, the monsters of Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec perform their dons macabre. Here is Helen Frankenthaler's Frankenstein. Some assembly is required. And if Claude Monet painted a monster, it would emerge from the misty water lilies like this. What will your monster look like? The end. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.